Hello, this is Matthew Miller from the ZDNet Smartphones and Cell Phones blogs. Now, I've had some people, first off with my camera, I, I can't on this particular camera adjust the autofocus, so sorry for any issues you may have watching on this video. Now, I've had several comments. This is the Nokia N900 internet tablet. It's MIMO 5 or MAMO 5 that it runs. And to me, the power of this device is really in the media creation and in the web browser. So I've had people question me and say, what, uh, what can you do with the web browser? They've thrown sites at me and things like that. And then one thing I just discovered that really makes this a compelling device for me personally and uh, may have me using changing some of my strategies if I buy one is the fact that the browser is so full featured. So this is the Google site, right? Now if I tap here, I've got some pages open that I'll show you. First one is Google Calendar. So on the N90 or N900, you get the full Google Calendar experience. There are no limitations in the browser as far as the calendar goes. So you can come in here, you can view your multiple calendars like down there. You can tap on an area. There we go. And create a new appointment or a new event if you want. Um, I can do this special zoom thing here and I can show you a little bit more. So there you can go. You can go edit event details. So you can put even more of the fine details in your event. As you can see there, it's the full event entry portion. So with the N900, if you use Google Calendar, you can do everything on here without having to sync up with uh, the calendar application on the N900. I use mine for Exchange, so it's nice to have Google Calendar available as a separate, um, separate tool. Now, other Google, uh, um, excuse me, programs that work, of course, Google Docs, right? So here we go in Google Docs. This is my main Google Docs page. As you can see, there is it is a heavy site, so there is uh, at times a bit of lag, I guess. So there's my list of um, documents over on the right. I'll show you a Word, Excel, and um, Word, a spreadsheet, a Word document, and a presentation in a second. So if we tap on Create New. You actually have options for creating a new document, presentation, spreadsheet, form, or folder. So let's just uh, take a look at some of the open applications. So here is a presentation that I started to create. I believe it's a presentation. Oh, sorry. This was actually the spreadsheet that I just opened up. So this is the spreadsheet. This is one I uh, already created, but if I needed to edit it, I can go down here. And the, the bars on the right, once you get into the spreadsheet. You can tap on a cell, edit that cell. You can see right there I'm in the cell. Entering some text, do the little zoom thing here, as you can see. So you can create and edit your Word doc or your spreadsheet documents right in the uh, Google Docs. Let's tap here. There's the presentation, so you can go in here and create presentations on the N900 within the browser again. And where's a word? There we go. Here's a press release. Documents to go that I received. So you can go into here. And as you can see, it has all the right, all the uh, functions and options that you would get in your word processor that you can use. You know, bullets, tabs, fonts, styles, all the stuff, all the table, all the options up top. As you can see at times there is a bit of leg. There's the tools came a little bit late there. Zoom 
it back out a bit. And I have seen this. Just to be honest, see, web page not responding. Because, as you can see here, I have several um, things running at once. And for some reason, it doesn't like that I have all these Google Doc pages open. Now, more than likely, you're not going to be creating a spreadsheet, a presentation, and a Word document at the same time and looking at other spreadsheets and schedules and things like that so you may not have that issue but just to be warning remember also I am using a pre-production N900 with the latest firmware I could find I think running on it however um, maybe a little bit more stable um, once it is launched so that's a look at what I think is maybe a killer feature for some people support for Google Documents including Google Calendar uh, Gmail, the full Gmail's on there, full reader, all of that. So all the Google properties seem to be working pretty well. Oh, yes, uh, Google Wave. There's a view of Google Wave as well. I don't really know what the usage of Google Wave is, but it does work on the N900 browser. So there's a look at the N900 and it's quite powerful browser. Thanks for watching.